Welcome back, friends. It is I, Russell Scarf, and it's time for episode two of Gunslinger. So here we are. So we are chasing after some other people we're fighting, well, Clanton and them. So that's what's going on here. A bullet for the old man. So obviously we're going after the Clanton guy, old man Clanton. And so let's get going. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for old man Clanton. All right, here we go, here we go. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. Oh. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! Oh, damn. They were Mexican banditos. I did my best to help those poor bastards. Moments later, the attackers were dead, and I checked a stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. Probably none. None. It was then I wondered if the rocks were in hiding more bandits. Was that all of them, or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attack from on high like Apaches often do. Uh. They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead uh, on hapless enemies' heads. Ah, oh, jeez. Making use of the high ground and whatever else they had. This is what rifles are for. Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere, and there never seemed to be an end to it. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? W what happened to the cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. Can I not miss my shots right now? There we go. Ah, three bullets! Ow, 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 I shot the heads off. Clean off. Dodge! Woo! Headshot, headshot. See, at the time, I was still pretty green, but often blunder into regrettable situations. Level up and see it. Okay, let's see here. So, huh. Pick your targets faster as your speed of, of aiming any weapon will be increased by... Oh, nice. That's good. Uh, here we go. Let's do this. But I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn... Ah, oh, jeez. What were... I didn't see Ringo. But I knew he was with the Cowboys. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong. And I was determined to have my revenge. Get to Ringo. I knew I'd ah, have to find my way past these other assholes first. And now with the assholes. Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo. Woo. Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Oh jeez, oh, go go go! Shoot that Ow! What's hitting me? What's hitting me? Oh, oh, that's what's hitting me. Okay. Finally, they managed to corner me. Oh, what? I'm not a bullet. The odds of my survival seem pretty slim. And that's when I died. I'm actually a ghost, everybody. Boo! No, I'm just joshing. I'm just joshing. This is what actually happened. God dang it! Ah. Oh. I ran out of bullets on purpose? Ugh. Ow! Asses! There we go. Life's easier when you can hit key- Ah, Jesus, it's still hitting me. Dodging! Is there an exit anywhere? Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Oh, shit. And I ran my ass out of there. Oh, God. Yes, I am. I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. There's no time for nuggets. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking? Going up against a gang like this. Oh, damn. Ah! My ass! I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. And that's Help? when something miraculous happened. 
Like mana from heaven, I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. <laughs> the old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Oh yeah. Woo. Woo. Bat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good. And he would know. There we go. Now it's time to beat some ass. And imagine my surprise when Ooh. I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. That stroke of good fortune, even the odds, <laughs> bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the table. Fist of whip! Ah! I turned the tables after they knocked me the fudge out. Uh, let me, let me, uh, that's not what happened. Hold on, hold on. Trying to remember correctly. Trying to remember correctly. Whoops. Ah, oh, back here? Oh, yeah. Where's that ammunition at? Oh, I guess I got the ammunition. Alright. Now let me do this smart this time, because I wouldn't do that very smart a moment ago. Ugh. Found me some dynamite. Let's play it smart. Okay, here we go. That stroke of good fortune, even the odds, have bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunter to become the hunter. Time. All right, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running. And the old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. I came at them like a wildcat. My fury knew no bounds. Sum it up, I was kind of really pissed off. Kind of very pissed off. Make it a truth nearby. It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. Where? All right, looking for a nugget. Looking for a nugget. There's no one gonna find a nugget here. Nugget's probably over there. I have no idea how to get to that. All right, well there goes. Okay, there's a nugget nearby. Okay, it's not this guy. Take in about 30 seconds to look for a nugget. No, nope, didn't find it. Ah, I have no clue. Drink it! Cantankerous! Mean as hell, old man clan. I yelled out at the top of my lungs. Clan, I'm coming for you! Ish. A little stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> because that old fool had a Gatlin gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Uh... Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. I needed to get that old man off that gun. Oh! He really knew how to shred a cactus, I can tell you that much. That's not a euphemism, baby. But he's... Ah, go, 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 shoot! Ah! Oh, yeah. Next rock is over there! Run, better! Okay, woo. Ah! In fact, he could afford a Gatlin means he was really good at thieving. That means I gotta get really good at shooting. Oh damn. You shot at me, that's what you did. There were a lot of rocks rolling around. Ah! Uh. Neither did I. Neither did I. Uh. Luckily, Gatlin guns jam. Go! Yeah. Where is he? No, oh, jeez, there he is. Okay. Woo! Oh, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Uh, get me on a rock. Ow. Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon. 
but it was just me. Dynamite! Oh, damn. Oh, get behind this. Woo. Got men covering him in the back. Oh damn! Yeesh. What was this? That works. Ah, he's shooting now. He can't get me from there. Oh, okay, he's hitting me now. Get this stuff. Here's a bad spot to be in. Oh jeez. Q Q Q Q Q Q Q. Q. I shot the hell out of his head. It wasn't enough. I went back to hide. <laughs> oh, damn. Sometimes the correct answer is the dynamite answer. Bye. Woo. That did it. Woo. Apparently, one of the cowboys made it out of there alive and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the old K Corral. Ah, that's what happened. So, oops, and what happened to the Earps? I didn't find a single nugget of truth. I feel bad about that, but what am I gonna do? I was running for my life. All right, get on to the next one. Gunfight at the sawmill. The true reason behind Silas's pursuit of the Cowboys wasn't money, but for revenge on one of his arch enemies, John and Ringo. Church for hidden nuggets of truth. Here we go. So we're gonna have a gunfight this time. So here we go. A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. Yeah, there's actually bears out here. I meant that way, not the other way. So what exactly? Did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brocious. Herb's coming! Get ready, boys. I'm totally Herb. Yeah, I'm Herb. I'm Herb. Why would you walk up so easy? Curly Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise. Ah. And after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. Damn. That ain't Earp, is it? No, it ain't Earp. It's me killing you, though. Can I get this shot? No, I can't get that. No, I got it now. And Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. Hey, did they know I was kind of worse than that? Here we go. Ah! I wouldn't believe how many damn bullets I could take. It was crazy. Oh, jeez. Alright, sneaking around, sneaking around. Kill him. I see him, I just don't hit him. Oh. Got him, though. Got him. Ah, damn. Him oh. Got him. Woo! Picking up a lot of rifle ammo. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Oh, no, they did it. Ah. Uh, I plan to use that wood. There were killers around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. That's how the cowboys identified each other. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. You know, that'd be cheap. That would be cheap. Also, I'm a terrible shot. Not that time, though. But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed. And that's what drove me forward. They say that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. 
That man was all hat and no cap. Ah, damn. A lot of these guys here. Okay, okay, okay. Cover, cover, cover. Let's see what the level up is. Uh, so we got Grenadier. Throw sh you can throw shoot dynamite? Well, let's see the other one. Country for headshots? Ooh, yeah. I want that. Is that a red barrel? No, that's not a red. That's rust. Okay. Gotta go rifle here. Too many of them. Herb wasn't much of a match for him, but Doc Holliday might have taken him. That longer should have kept his nose out of it. Two with one blow. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Well, yeah, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Can you use that? Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. And an outhouse that smell. Let's see, where am I? You. Okay, there's a bunch of people here. That guy was dumb. Alright, okay. There's gotta be more than just that guy. It's not am. Oh, Jason! Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clanton died, why didn't his son take over the Cowboys? Because I Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. Good answer. Good answer. Now, where was I? Taking down the entire Ooh. cowboy gang single-handed. Indeed I was, Jack. <laughs> I got plenty of dynamite to throw, so I threw it. They didn't much like the dynamite I threw at them. I don't know why. I never figured it out. But it definitely hurt. <laughs> this is very convenient dynamite. Though it wasn't easy as those boys had good cover. But I had dynamite. A lot of dynamite. I got two more of these things. One of those will get them. There we go. Woohoo! Alright. Can I not miss? There you go. Woo! Alright, you can kill with either hand. I can shoot you while I scratch my ass. Oh damn, I'm getting shot. Oh damn. Oh, there goes that for him. Where is he? The hell is he? I hear a guy talking. There he is. <laughs> this will bother you son. Bye son! Nice. Shoot your nuts off. There you go. There were carts everywhere, piles of lumber, and God knows what else for people to hide behind. Ah, that really was one hell of a song. That would have been great. Quite an impressive operation. Too bad. That would have been awesome. I don't need this to not be swinging anymore. There we go. I gotta notice these envi the environment attacks. I really do. And where was Curly Bill? Did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. <laughs> I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly... Consider your picture painted. What happened next? <laughs> well, finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. Consider your picture painted. What happened next? Alright, alright. 
I'm supposed to go this way, aren't I? Red barrels. Hey, though. Yeah, it's this way. Okay. There's a red barrel here I don't want to be next to. Curly Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Here we go. Takes a shot before he takes a shot. Curly Bill, my kind of man, till I shot him in the head. Are you saying they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me out in the open. Time to dance with the devil! That's weird. Where does that come from? Careful, careful. This guy bugged? He is bugged. I better move so he's not bugged anymore. Well, this is one way to win a fight. Oh, come on. Get unbugged. Ah, oh, jeez! Yep, dodge. Concentration, concentration. He's bugged. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna kill him while he's bugged. Well... It's one way to win. You know what? I've been liking dynamite. That's too bad. It really is. Just too bad. Brocious gave me no choice but to take his life. Ugh. But Ringo was nowhere to be found. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed. Took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. All right, here we go, gunfight. Next in line to take over and take a bullet, John Ringo. Look at that stash. Look at that stash. Now these are, of course, hard to do. So here we go. I got my gun ready. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. Losing my focus here. Oh, damn it! Oh, close! I shot twice. Sorry I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. Woo! Doc Holliday had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo. And that's how that Mother Hubbard died. Oh, we got a level up. Let's see here. Um, Eagle? None can hide. Hints about enemies behind you. Spot enemies even beyond your field of view during concentration. Alright, the other one is the dynamite throw. Ooh, that sounds cool. Do that later. All right, so there we go. So none can hide. All right. Hey, what's with these other ones? Reload faster in the blink of an eye. Insert the cartridge from the bottom of your rifle. Can cut down the reload time. Damn. Let's get this. None can hide. How about this one? Execution is the next one. Just keeps nearby enemies. Deal with some headshots without even aiming. Pressing and holding Q will eat up all your concentration in exchange for mark marking. Oh, that's... Okay, I get it. And then a golden rifle. Oh, nice. All right. Nice. Alright, that's cool. Alright, so there we go. So that is uh, episode 2 of Gunslinger. Next time will be episode 3. At some point we'll look at these nuggets of truth. But right now, having some fun with the game, right? So there we go. So that is the game. I had fun. I wish you were watching. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. This is coming by. And see you next time. Great music, huh?